All right, our next step is we're going to take our um, sticks, and these are uh, 3 32 inch basswood strips. You can get them at the hobby store. Um, I got mine at the Hobby Lobby, and it says here 69 cents. So these are cheap. You'll need two of them, um, but we need to cut. Basically, we need three posts, so, but they have to be 12 inches long. These things come in 24 inches, so cut, cut them down to uh, 12 inches. <laughs> so go ahead and do that. Now, you can either use a razor saw like this to cut it or a hobby knife. I'll show you both ways. Uh, first, I'm just going to mark it. We got a sharpie here. I'll mark it right in the middle, 12 inches. There's the other one, 12 inches. My sticks are actually longer than 24 inches, so uh, I'll have to make four cuts. See, on, on the razor saw, you just you always pull back. Use a cutting board on this. 12 inches long. Mine is actually just a... Okay, so if you're, if you're using a hobby knife, you can use basically... The wood is, is skinny enough where you can just kind of wiggle it back and forth and that will, the knife will force down in there. I'll show you that one more time if this one's too long. Oh, that one's perfect. Okay, so I only need three of these. Now, if you, if you want to sand these at this point, this is the time to sand them. Um, you, just, you just want to take the fur off of them. So just some fine sandpaper will work. Okay, you're, you're going to want to come around to the, here up front again because we're going to do something very small. Okay, our, our next thing, you're going to need some thread. It doesn't need to be anything special. Uh, this was, I just had lying around Apogee, but it, you can go down to the fabric store or, or break into a, you know, a sewing kit. Just get some thread. Um, I don't know. It doesn't really matter how long it is. I'll use the white because it'd probably be easier to photograph. But the color doesn't matter. And just cut off a long length. All right, so now we're going to take this hinge that we just had. And you can see how I uh, needle nose pliers, Max. Can I have those back? Okay. So remember, we have our, our dihedral. This, this, this here is going to be our top. I'll just mark it so you can see it, top. And dihedral you want up. So we want to keep, if I lay it on there flat, it has a little up. But actually I want it on the sides. So I'm going to take this, I'm just going to take the tip, bend it up like that, kind of at an angle. Um, so that basically I want to get it kind of laying alongside. And I'm going to push it towards the front. Where's my top? So that the, the circles are right next to the front of the wood. We don't want the, uh, the little loops and the wire in front. We want it right at the very tip. Can you see that, Robbie? All right. So once we get into that point, then we're going to want to tie it in place. And if I could get you to hold this, Samuel. Sure. Can you hold it just like right here like that? Sure. Yeah, let me make a loop here. Okay. All right. That's good. Thank you. And then this piece that's hanging, I'll just cut it off. Okay, and I'm pushing it as close to those loops as possible. 
and then I'm going to just take it and wrap it around. And you can see I'm going down the length of the... This is the central spar. This is the central spar. You're right, Jason. Okay. I'm all the way down. I'm just going to take my super glue, and this is, this is water thin super glue. So make sure you're wearing your safety goggles when using this. And just go around the perimeter. You can see I glued my finger there. Ouch. That's good. And then you can just cut your string off. So can you see that? So the loops are even with the front of the spar and they're on the sides and if you look carefully we should have a little bit of dihedral meaning that the wires are bent a little bit towards the top so they're not perfectly flat they're at an angle and that's good so let's go ahead and all do that and i got string over here if anybody needs it and we got glue if anybody needs it <laughs> 